As we are in the women's flyweight division. First of all, fighting out of our blue corner. This lady like weighed in at 57.2 kilos and tonight she has her second professional bout. Training under Jeff O'Hara at the Donnybrook Fight Club. She hails from Sydney, New South Wales. Please welcome Danielle Hayes. Fighting out of the red corner. She weighed in at 57.2 kilos with a record of one fight for one draw. Training under her father, Jeff Hackett. She fights out of the Wise Force Gym of the Gold Coast. She is a former Australian and world Muay Thai champion, Chelsea Hammer Hackett. Chelsea Hackett in the red corner. Danielle Hayes in the blue corner. The stare has not ceased. Three rounds of MMA. Pete Hickmont is our referee. The bull is in charge, they touch him up, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Eternal 46, Tanir Nathan with Jake Anderson. I have been waiting for this moment. Very intense stare from Chelsea Hackett and Danielle Hayes. They did not break eye contact, and now they have the opportunity. Chelsea the Hackett, line. obviously the most, the, the more decorated striker out of the two of them. But Danielle Hayes, she's trained in Vegas at Syndicate MMA like we spoke before, and she, she likes the challenge. She likes to... To be in the position where she can dethrone this queen that we've all celebrated. Massive right hand by Chelsea. She hurt Danielle. And the She's queen. She's looking to out. She rocks her with a royal head kick. <laughs> One thing you've got to watch from Chelsea, I'll tell you what, she likes to work angles. She works from the left. She works from the right. Very rarely will you see her go straight down the middle, and yet that can be a surprise when she decides to do so. Hackett turns it around, uses that underhook, and drives Hayes into the cage. Hayes likes to think that she's more well-rounded. Let's see if she can prove that here, especially when she's up against the cage. Well, I tell you what, this has been the feature bout of the evening. A lot of us have been looking forward to seeing Chelsea Hackett back in action. After her last fight with Mel Zeman, she takes on an even tougher opponent in Danielle Hayes. However, she is found, she has found success so far here in the first. Yeah, and to uh, allude to your point a little bit more as well, especially because Hayes has also had a 10-fight a, a Muay Thai career. So these girls, when they're not fighting for position on the cage, when they separate and they start throwing strikes again, we can expect more of those fireworks we saw at the very, very start of the fight. Indeed we can, Jack. And as mentioned earlier on, she trains under her father, Jeff Hackett. Looking for her first win here tonight is Chelsea. But do not count out our visitor looking to silence the crowd mm. and Danielle Hayes. Yeah, both of them looking for their first victory. Very, very interesting. Someone's O has got to go. As they say in the industry. Just to be a little bit cliche as the girls jostle for position. Speaking of industries, building industry training. One of our official sponsors here tonight. Huge thanks to them as the girls separate and back to the action here. Oh, massive tape as Danielle Hayes tries to come over the top. She's winging these punches though. Her elbows are up. She uses it to dig in and go for a takedown. Body lock, head control for Hayes. And we're back to that stalemate we saw on the eastern side of the cage. Hackett just so composed. Both girls had to have known that with both of their strengths, at some point, this was going to happen. Well, I'll tell you what, Danielle Hayes is, Danielle Hayes, rather, is doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. She had a straight right hand down the middle, followed by a left head kick by Chelsea. Rocked her in the first. This is where she would like to keep the fight if she can. You see the powerful legs of Chelsea from here. Just so stable. Absolutely. Look, even pushing against, we're using that leg as a frame. She can't even keep Chelsea off her, especially with that underhook. Almost trips her there. Chelsea Hackett not letting her rest at all. Puts that knee in behind, tries to knee the thigh, but it's also doing, it's using her leg as a wedge is Chelsea Hackett. Getting that knee in behind, she keeps she, her in the corner. Yeah, she's pinned. Exactly, exactly. And she's finally oh. over that right knee to the head. Beautiful. That leg with the sheen across of Danielle Hayes is trying to create space so she can escape, but Chelsea Hackett and that powerful base, she's having none of it. Small amount of blood in the nose of Danielle Hayes from one of those earlier shots. Chelsea Hackett, nine years, the younger 
of Danielle Hayes. However, Jake, when that cage door closes, age is not a factor. And back to the striking. Chelsea Hackett. Oh, and as switch kick there, is upstairs. And she goes again down low. The hand was there for Danielle Hayes. She blocked the switch kick, even though it came up. It's not the best defense for it, but she's onto it. Strong whizzer there by Chelsea, and she oh. reverses up against the cage once again. Just muscled it. Just forced the issue. Fantastic. Right in front of us here, mate. Yes, indeed. And here we find Chelsea dominant, holding Danielle up against the cage. Oh. And she takes her down, ends up in half guard. In top. And look at that cross base immediately as well. Danielle Hayes is completely flat. Her shoulders are on the mat. Pretty much the worst place you could be, escape-wise. She works to a lockdown position. Promoters Cam O'Neill and Ben Vickers enjoying the action here tonight. Huge thanks to them for putting on a wonderful show. Ten seconds left here in round number one. Hackett versus Hayes. And you've got to think that this is a, a stolen round for Chelsea Hackett. Just making that a little bit more definitive that she took this round with the takedown. Absolutely. And the confidence by Chelsea as she gets up. You can tell this is something that she loves, Jake. Oh, absolutely. She's so competitive. She has got the competitive edge. She'll carry that from Muay Thai over into MMA. And I'm sure whatever hole she has in her game now, there'll be a thought of the past in two fights time, maybe even less. Fantastic development from her here and fantastic durability from Danielle Hayes. She doesn't look disheveled at all. Bit of encouragement in the corner of Danielle Hayes. Big thanks to our sponsors, Max Moments, cost-effective websites and SEO, that's what they do. Max Moments' goal is to deliver you a cost-effective website that you can manage yourself. Peter Hickmott signals the beginning of round number two and Chelsea has it. Hackett takes the octagon. Takes the center of the octagon, rather. Danielle Hayes starting to open up, though. She cannot move directly back like that, or she's just going to end up in the cage. She needs lateral movement. Lateral movement, which is something that she said in the pre-fight warm-up. She feels her striking's on par oh. with Hackett's, but the key is to use speed and angles, and she, we're just not seeing that. She needs to move laterally. She's so explosive, though, Chelsea. And look at that right there. She can close the distance just in a heartbeat. However, Danielle Hayes oh. closes the distance as Chelsea moves forward. She almost hunted there. Big knees there by Chelsea Hackett. A bit of vindiction as she was coming in. Oh, big knee. Bad intentions on the end of all of these strikes by both these, by both these women. Nice turn by Danielle Hayes using the underhook. Outside reap almost for Danielle Hayes. Just the weight is in the wrong direction for that. Danielle Hayes looking to go under. Possibly look to throw Chelsea in some fashion. Great reversal again there by Hackett. Danielle Hayes fighting very strong as Chelsea takes her to the ground. Straight into half guard again. Fantastic. Terrible position for Danielle Hayes. She's stuck between Chelsea and the cage, literally. She's got nowhere to really hip escape. She's quite literally cornered. I mean, she can, she can try and crawl parallel with the cage, but even then, Chelsea's just going to follow her. She's lost the underhook during the transition in the takedown. And here come the punches. In jiu-jitsu competition, having half the guard, having one of the legs trapped between your legs is usually good, but... In MMA, you could just shut that leg down, which is what we're seeing by Chelsea. She can't pull it out, so she's just going to sit there. She can't hip escape, pull that leg out, and Chelsea's just going to work. And work she is doing. I'll tell you what, those punches, as you said earlier, Jake Anderson, they are money in the bank. They add up, and they are of value. Can they be the difference here tonight between a win between Chelsea Hackett and Danielle Hayes? Hayes needs to work. It's easier said than done. She needs to try and hip escape. She needs to make room. 
so she can dig for an underhook and she needs to stand. She needs to try and come around to get a dominant angle in dogfight position is what we call it when she comes up to her knees and tries to follow her underhook around the back. Or at least start a scramble. This is not working for her. This is not... No, there we see it. She needs to come up on the side. Beautiful. She's got that left underhook. Chelsea uses an overhook. She needs to keep moving and she does exactly that. Fantastic work from Danielle Hayes. Now she needs to do something with it. That's a big knee there by Danielle Hayes. Chelsea looks fine though. Oh, vicious knees. Vicious knees, just more and more. Coach Vincent Perry, my, my long time coach, calling for an elbow. Almost didn't recognize Vinny without his guitar. <laughs> Beautiful pummeling from both girls in there. Very, very savvy. Of Danielle Hayes, she picks up on it, forces Chelsea to go around to the other side. Dirty boxing here. Chelsea doing very, very well in the clinch here as Danielle looks for a strong wizard. Can't get it. She does now, though. There could be a takedown here. That's a body lock. That's a strong body lock. And down and Chelsea she goes. Uses it. Chelsea. Hacking Almost dominant. into half guard, but she's in the guard now. This is a different position than the half guard. There are attacking options. Danielle Hayes Danielle is doing a good job of keeping Chelsea at base so far. However, she is in a difficult position. Full guard, though. She's trying to cut an angle so she can start attacking. Chelsea picks up on it and tries to move straight and here out. Here she comes. Both That's women smart. back to the feet, and this is where Chelsea wants to be as well as Hayes. That's absolutely smart. That was a fantastic decision by Chelsea. Straight back up on the feet. Don't even play with fire. That is the guard of Danielle Hayes. And Danielle Hayes opts to go back down into the guard. Indeed she does. She, she gave Chelsea a fair kick to the face before she did get taken down, however. Oh, a mistake because now we're back in half guard. She's got to work again. Ooh, tough round for Danielle Hayes. Chelsea Atkins is looking even more dominant as the fight goes on. Fantastic fight we have on our hands here tonight. Hackett versus Hayes as we... Go into round number three. You'd have to think, Jake, the momentum in the favour of Chelsea Hackett. Yeah, absolutely. Most definitely. Cage control actually landing strikes against the cage. She got those takedowns. Danielle Hayes did great to survive. She didn't eat a lot of damage, but she certainly did not win those rounds. Fight Life is Australia's biggest and best online fight store. They have Australia's largest range of MMA and BJJ gear. With free shipping Australia-wide for orders over $80. Fight Life sponsors of Eternal MMA. Third and final round here at Eternal 46, Hackett versus Hayes. Both women put it all on the oh, line. Big right hand there from Chelsea Hackett. And Danielle Hayes has absolutely got to work her way out of a deficit. And that's exactly what she's trying to do. Show some urgency. Chelsea having none of it. Uses the underhook and just grinds her up against the cage. Breaking the action here. Time says Peter Hickmont. Bit of a water hazard here in the cage. Very, very dangerous for both women. I mean, we don't want these fighters getting hurt. Peter Hickmont working hard, making his money's worth here tonight. Unless they're hitting each other, I mean, but... Indeed, Jake Anderson. Indeed, He's a gentleman. Indeed, indeed. He's a gentleman. He'll restart them in the same position under Zovers, and here we go again. Round number three, Hackett versus Hayes. Deja vu as we're up against the cage. Punches here from Danielle Hayes are not going to do much. They're not going to do much in the eyes of the judges. They're not going to do much to get her out of this position. That's better. Even though she's, she's lost double underhooks, pushing away and making space, getting rid of that head control, trying to move, trying to free herself up. See how she's coming up onto her toes. That just shows how much pressure Chelsea Hackett is 
is delivering her that she's coming up off the ground. Well, let's wait and see here. Danielle has one hook in. She's got two in. One and a half, I'll say, Jake. She needs to... If she drops down from here, she's going to be in a, a guard on the side. That left arm of Chelsea Hackett that you can see on the monitor there, T, that is 100% what's stopping her from coming around and all back. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. It's a bit difficult for us to see here, but you folks at home on the stream... Chelsea could almost slam her here, I'll tell you what. Oh, she's definitely. Not careful. Definitely. The head is right there. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. It's, it's, it's more of an uncomfortable position for Danielle than it is for Chelsea. As she breaks and she... Oh! Throws oh! What a toss! And wow. Straight into side control is Chelsea Hackett. It was almost inevitable. Danielle Hayes, she let go of the hooks. Wow. Big mistake on her part. However, she is still finding herself fighting. Get that girl a yellow Hanson belt on. in judo <laughs> just for that. Unreal, let me tell you. Inside control. She's trying to get to mount. She might be a little bit too... Greedy there. As Danielle Hayes is moving her hip, she's got that frame as well. There's too much space. She's trying to get back into a guard, and that's exactly what's going on. Well, Danielle's actually got the underhook on the left side here. If Chelsea can sweep her hips out, which she can, she'll be able to get out of this, and she does so successfully. Smart from Hackett. Oh, that Punish. leg kick. Punishing that front leg, Jake. You can see the foot wrap around the leg of Danielle Hayes. Oh. Daniel Hayes still very, very much game. Comes in, shoots for a takedown. That was beautiful. At least she tried. Absolutely stuffed, but she's oh! Chelsea down now. The underhook of Chelsea again proves to be super important. It slows down Hayes and it gets Chelsea on top. She can manipulate the position and come into a dominant one. Just over two minutes left in round number three, our third and final round. Huge thanks to our sponsors, Ads On, AB Crane Hire, Engage Premium Fightwear, Sponsoring our fighters tonight, as well as building industry training. Eternal 46, Hackett versus Hayes. Just the explosive kicks of Chelsea Hackett. It's almost, it's like an NBA player dribbling. They don't even have to think about it. It's just autonomous. It's in their DNA. It comes so naturally when you That's do a it takedown. so often. That is a takedown. Chelsea oh, needs to square Daniel her hips she actually just, just made a small error in that, and by pulling, she pulled Chelsea back up to her feet, and she didn't like suck her legs out from the cage. Very unfortunate. She's worked so hard in these first two rounds to try and get into a dominant position, and she just, it was right there. She, she was on the cusp as she moves into a single leg now. Chelsea turns the tables. We've been here before. Beautiful head control. Just under a minute left here in our third and final round. Body lock from Danielle Hayes. She can get out of here. She needs to, and she does. Beautiful. Now and she, she has the underhook. Absolutely. She, she gave up on the underhook. Oh, massive mistake there by Danielle Hayes. Well, you can't fault her too much, Jake. I tell you, Chelsea Hackett is no slouch on the ground, as oh. we've seen. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. It's so much. It's, it, it does get easy from outside here. It's more so that I just thought that she'd have a little bit of her time in the sun in this fight, and it was just ripped away from her yet again. Less than 30 seconds out. Oh, transition going to the back is Chelsea Hackett. In a seated reverse half guard almost. Back into the conventional guard. Seconds half down guard, in round me. number three. Uses Chelsea the Hackett and Danielle Hayes will go the distance. Nice, beautiful fight. Such a, such a war of attrition between these two girls. I think they just won each other's respect. Beautiful little sign of sportsmanship there, or sportswomanship. That was a great, great fight to watch. As we come back to the replay, the very, very deep underhook of Chelsea Hackett. She steps through and loads up her hips into a massive hip toss. Straight into a very, very deep cross face. That was an MMA fight. That was Chelsea Hackett showing that she is an MMA fighter. Look at all this stuff. She's, she scrambles. She did a hip toss. She's got fantastic control against the cage. Chelsea Hackett has arrived and she knows MMA. Absolutely no doubt there, Jake. We do go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Dave Ella has Ladies our official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, have had a round of applause for these girls. What a fantastic fight here at Eternal tonight. We go to the judges' scorecards.
All three judges score this fight 30-27 for a unanimous decision to the red corner, Chelsea Hackett. Chelsea Hackett victorious here tonight. Her first win as a professional mixed martial artist. The elation lies with Chelsea and the team from Puma as well as her father. Once again, a huge thanks to Danielle Hayes for putting on a show and safe travels to her team back to Sydney.